A few weeks ago, I published a video about how we can filter by a list in Power Query. Now it didn't take long until somebody asked, can we do the same using the filter function in Excel? And the answer is yes. So in this video, we're looking at how we can use the filter function in Excel to filter by a list. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here in Excel, we have the example data that we're using for this video. We have our table of data. We then have the list that we want to filter by. Below that, we have a second list, and we'll be using this later on in the video to show that we can filter by multiple lists. Our goal is to display our data, but only include those items which are in our item list. If you want to work along with this video, you can download this example file and there's links in the descriptions box below. Let's start by looking at the filter function. So filter has three arguments. It has the array. This is the range or array that we want to filter. It has the include argument. This is an array of booleans where true represents a row or column to retain. And finally, we have the if empty argument. This is the value that's displayed if include doesn't retain any items. So the key function for filtering by a list is our include statement. For each of our rows, we need a true or a false statement to declare whether it's included in our list. I'll click cancel on that. And for that, we can use the count ifs function equals count ifs, open bracket. We might say, well, what range do we want to assess? We want to assess the items in our item list. And we want to count the items where that equals alpha. So this is how we might traditionally think about a count ifs function. I'll press return on that, it returns one. And that's because the value alpha is contained in our list. Because we now have dynamic arrays in Excel, it means we don't just have to calculate using a single cell. We can select our entire column. And when we do that, it will spill that entire range of ones and zeros. So alpha, you can see here, is in our list. Bravo, Charlie, and Delta are not in the list. Therefore, they have returned zero. The next item, Echo, is in the list, so has returned one. So that means that every value which is in that list returns one, every value that's not in the list returns zero. Now in Excel, zero and false are viewed as the same thing. Zero is deemed to be equal to false, and any other positive number is deemed to be true. So that means this count ifs statement has created this true and false value that we need. So let's wrap our filter function around this. Filter, our array is going to be our full data set. The count ifs is now our include statement. And then if there's nothing to return, we'll enter no values. Fantastic, we now just have alpha and echo in our output array. If we add a new item to the list, delta for example, that now means that Alpha, Delta, and Echo are all returned by the filter function. Let's delete Delta and then close up the table. And that's it. That's a simple way that we can filter by a list inside Excel using the filter function. At the moment, we've filtered on a single list, but I know that someone's thinking, is it possible to filter based on multiple lists? And the answer is yes. I'm going to place some brackets around our count ifs function. And then within that bracket, we're going to enter multiply and then enter a new count ifs function. Next, we'll apply the same principles. So from our region list, we'll compare that to the region column. We'll then close the count ifs value. When I press return, you can see that it only returns the items which are alpha and echo, which are also in north or east. And they are declared in the lists. Let's add a new item to the region list. Central, 
And here you can see the array has expanded. The next question is, what if we want the items that appear in one list or the other list, not the items that appear in both lists? To do that, we change our multiplication symbol for a plus symbol. So now our filter function shows all the items in the item list or all the items in the region list. And that's it. That's how we can filter by a list or multiple lists in Excel using the filter function. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time.